Hello there, escapers. My name is Xenobilius, and welcome to my Chompy Killing Guide. This is one of the most, if not the most, boring trim requirement, the most tedious trim requirement ever created. Probably second to Castle Wars. Probably even worse than Castle Wars because you have to pay attention and do something absolutely mindless for 20 odd hours to get this requirement done. So what is the requirement? You need 4,000 Chompy Kills. The kills per hour you get is around 200. It will vary massively based on RNG, but you can expect 1 in 200 on average if you're paying attention and doing this method. So therefore, to get the 4,000 Chompy Kills, it will take you around 20 hours, possibly up to 25 hours, including the learning curve which isn't very high to be fair. So what do you need to prepare for it? Well, I'll show you my inventory and my gear setups, but essentially you want the old that coil. Now I'm not sure whether this is a glitch or whatever, but loads of people have been using this method for a very long time actually and although cannons, normal cannons are not meant to work on chompies because only special bows and special arrows are meant to work on them if you wield those special bows and special arrows whilst using the old that coil it still does damage and the old that coil is also really essential for the previous trim guide that I uh, brought out and that was the champion scrolls so basically you want to get this as soon as possible it is a comp requirement to unlock this using the goblin tech tree 55 goblin currency 70 invention and uh, with this you will use up around one and a half probably less than one and a half uh, cannibals per chompy that you kill because you'll be attacking them with your bow as well but most of them will be killed by the cannon so in total you'll need about four to six k cannonballs for this method to get the requirement done Alright, so for this method you need either a normal ogre bow or a comp ogre bow. The normal one you can get from the big chompy bird hunting quest from Rants. The comp ogre bow you can buy from the GE, but you can't wield it unless you've uh, reached a certain point in the Zoga Flesh Eaters quest. You also want to have some uh, rune brutal arrows, you won't use too many. A few hundred will uh, last you the entire requirement with the Amber's accumulator or the comp cape with that in it. You want um, an old at coil, so cannonballs teleport to the nearest fairy ring which i believe it's the tokozo but it doesn't really matter also ring a duo link to teleport to mobilizing armies for the nearest spirit tree i like to bring void for some increased accuracy it's not really necessary because you pretty much hit the chompies all the time anyway but if you're a lower level it may be useful if you bring that. And finally you need a crossbow and a mithril grapple to get across to the place where the chompies are. Right, firstly you want to get to a fairy ring. The nearest one is the fight caves from the Tockle Zoo. Type in AKS and then uh, run east from there. And then a bit further north past uh, Rance who sells the hats once you reach certain goals in terms of chompy kills. And go through the cave, find the Ogabello, drop it and get three. Three is the optimal number, I think. So do the drop trick and get three. I teleport to you. Mobilizing armies, go to the spirit tree, go to the poison waste, and then equip your crossbow and your myth grapple and go across. And uh, you are here. Now you want to plant the cannon where you see me planting it here now. That's the optimal position, in my opinion, because it can access both the west across the bridge and also the north and the south. The only time the cannon won't be able to hit them is from uh, behind a tree on the east or far east where you will need to use your bow. Before we get started, it's really important that you keybind your ogre bellows and your bloated toads. What I like to do is I like to put the completely empty ogre bellows where my W is, and then I like to put uh, the one with one set of swamp bubbles in R or E, and the one with two sets of swamp bubbles in the other. The max it can have is three sets of swamp bubbles, which means it can catch three toads. You'll see why this is the case later on, but essentially it allows you to quickly figure out whether you need to refill your ogre bellows or not. Three is an optimal number because you can only have three bloated toads in your inventory and you want to place them as you see here. So you quickly uh, press Q and you just keep pressing it down until three are on the floor. You don't need to spam click it. Your character will automatically go west. I will just put your cannon down if you haven't already and start firing it so that you don't have to worry about the chompies. And then you just repeat this process. You'll be able to catch nine toads before you have to refill again. So uh, click on the toads just to catch them 
and make sure you don't catch more than three because otherwise the last one will burst and you'll basically have to catch another one and basically while you're doing the animation for catching the toads or filling the swamp the yoga bellows a uh, cannon won't be able to attack the chompy birds so just be aware of that and the chompy birds if they get too close to the toads will eat the toads so don't let them get too close the cannon will take care of that basically but just be aware of that so three lines of three is basically all you really need to have the highest chance of getting chompies again this is based on RNG so don't be too worried if you're having to wait but once you're done just keep uh, going back to the swamp bubbles when W is highlighted and E and R are completely grayed out that means you're completely out and that means you need to refill so that's why I like to use this method of uh, putting stuff on my action bar so that I know exactly when the time has come to completely refill my ogre bellows and uh, when I need to start the process all over again in essence that's the crux of the method you're going to be using for the next 20 odd hours there may be a few things you're wondering about though so I'll try to clear up your questions. Number one, I believe the more the number of toads on the ground, the higher the chance of uh, getting a chompy bird up to a limit. I'm not sure what that limit is. Number two, the fact that the chompies are lying around on the ground doesn't matter. It doesn't mean there'll be less chompies spawning. They can spawn on top of them, so you don't need to pick them up. Although, having said that, you can make quite a bit of profit if you're patient by picking up the raw chompies and collecting the meat and selling it off because a friend of mine actually sold it for 50k each. That's 200 mil if you get lucky with the the g offers it does 200 mil if you sell it on the g so uh, yeah you might want to pick it up bone crusher also helps uh, to uh, get some prayer xp and not have that lying around on the floor but yeah also it's not like you need to kill a chompy as soon as it spawns it's not going to disappear unless you log out or something or leave the area so you can take your time if you feel like uh, you need to finish up on a load of toads or whatever then take your time just don't let them get too close to the toads otherwise they'll eat them and while they're eating them they can't be attacked as well so that's a bit annoying you should have plenty of toads around this spot without having to go really far away from the cannon but if you don't don't worry just wait a little bit and they'll respawn essentially if you have three toads on the ground that's all you need to get a chompy any more will basically mean Mean you either have a high chance of getting the chompies or that you have more of a fallback in case you have to AFK or whatnot because yeah they'll start bursting after a certain amount of time or one or two minutes I'm not sure exactly how long that is so the more you have on the ground at any given time the longer you can AFK and I think three ogre bellows which is equivalent to a nine swamp toads without having to refill your ogre bellows is the optimal amount you can obviously take as many ogre bellows as you want by doing the drop trick and not have it to refill for a while if you do this but three i believe is uh, a fairly efficient number just because you can only fill your inventory with three swamp toads at any given point in time if you have any more it will start bursting the previous ones so you'll basically be wasting your time and yeah that's all i can really think of uh, at the moment uh, obviously remember to reset your cannon otherwise it will disappear and if it does disappear you have to go back to the guy in the dwarven mouth mountain or whatever north of Felidor he will tell you that you need to make another then you need to make another and plant it you can't just bring a load of uh, all that cores in your inventory and let them decay you have to go talk to the guy otherwise you won't be able to plant another one and last but not least don't forget to uh, equip your ogre bow and your arrows because without them the cannon will not work so don't forget to do that as soon as you cross the river and you should get a pop-up every time you reach a milestone with your chompy hunt you don't get any advantage just for reaching milestones in terms of increased chompies or whatnot but remember that the chompy kills enhancer lasts for how many counts for 100 chompies each so it basically gives a bonus of 100 chompies each which is quite good i guess it's not the best in terms of percentage of a requirement complete per enhancer but definitely definitely do your mother load more and uh, use them up here because it will save you a lot of time and effort and they may nerf this uh all that coil method in the future in which case you'll have to just click on all the chompies ever not just the ones that the coil can't reach so yeah that's pretty much the entire method if you have any more questions i will answer them but uh yeah i hope this uh helps you guys out oh and if you talk to rants who you passed when you were getting your ogre bellows you can get your expert dragon archer hat after getting 4,000 chompy kills which seems to have been quite fashionable back in the day when very few people had these 4k kills done because they were so much harder so much more click intensive and no cannons were involved 
Anyway, you also get a 30k range XP bonus after you get 4k kills and you talk to rants. So yeah, that's quite nice. I guess you also get some XP from killing the chompies. It's a very negligible though so you might not want to rely it for your ranged or magic training and yeah that is about it for this video if you have anything to add if you have any questions if you have any suggestions if you have a better method then uh, feel free to post in the comment section below but this one served me well on my way to trim and one last tip make sure this isn't your last trim requirement and uh, you're forcing yourself to do this for 20 straight hours because you will live to regret it trust me you will. It's been a mental scar for me <laughs> having to do this for 20 hours straight just before I trimmed. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. I wish you well in your trim journey and I will see you in the next one. Stay,